Hi, and welcome to another installment of Turbo Reviews. Today I'll be looking at Transformers Generations Thunderwing. Thunderwing's alternate mode is a bit different from his Generation 1 counterparts. As a spaceship jet, it definitely works and invokes the feel of the G1 figure, or, in my opinion, something akin to what the Generation 1 figure could have been. He's got retractable landing gear and a detachable drone on the front as a further nod to G1. His missile launchers fit on posts underneath the wings. All in all, a serviceable alt mode. It's just a pity you can see the robot arms. His alternate mode score is a 7.5. Transformation time. Start. Change. Head reveal. Change. Finish. Thunderwing's transformation is a bit simple for a modern day deluxe class figure, but it's fun. I do like how the legs swing out of the torso, rather than the lower legs sliding down to reveal the upper legs, which is a common transformation mechanic. I'm giving Thunderwing's transformation a score of 7. In robot mode, the homage to Thunderwing's Generation 1 counterpart is even more evident. Colors, paintettes, and head sculpts scream G1 Thunderwing. One item of note is that the robot head takes after Thunderwing's IDW comics appearance, more so than the appearance of the G1 figure's head, or even his Marvel Comics appearance. And that's just fine with me. He's sturdy, well sculpted, and very menacing looking, as befits a Decepticon. The two missile launchers from his alt mode can fit into his hands, or they can stay stored away behind the wings. Finally, he has two prominent Decepticon symbols in this mode, and they're in their proper purple color to boot. Kudos to Hasbro for that. Robot mode gets an 8. Articulation is almost about what you'd expect for a deluxe class figure. Wall joints and hinges abound, and allow you many options for posing. Arms are hindered slightly by the wings, but it's not too big of an issue. For articulation, Thunderwing gets a 7.5. Thunderwing legitimately has no gimmick, and therefore receives no score in this category. To be fair, this null score will be overlooked when I combine for the overall score. Okay, so, combined, the overall score for Thunderwing is a 7.5. He's a good figure, but not a stellar one. Alternate and robot modes are done pretty well, but transformation feels more like a scout class than a deluxe. Recommended. This is a nice figure that definitely does justice to the Thunderwing character. It's good to see Hasbro revisiting some of the more obscure fan favorite Generation 1 characters, and they made Thunderwing into a good toy. It's not great though. And part of the reason is because of his visible robot arms in alternate mode. But, if you're a Thunderwing fan, definitely get this guy. If you're a fan of Transformers with two solid modes, definitely get this guy. Heck, to be on the safe side, it's best to just go out and get this guy either way. Thanks for watching another Turbo Review. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And check back soon, as there's lots more to come.